this is a shout out to Rio because he demands himself to be involved in the Derek Pryor vlogs. A little louder, Rio. There you go. Really? Hey, what's up, tubers? So, um, yeah, I'm dealing with some rain right now. Um, so, I'm going to be going a little off topic from Disney today. Um, I do have to say that my one topic of Disney, E3 Epic Mickey, links in the doobly doodle thing down below, and I'm going to tell you to click right about here. Click there if you want to know what the amazing minute of Epic Mickey is. Now, <clears throat> off of Disney topic, I'm going to do something very near and dear to my heart. Uh, about two hours ago, the University of Utah had their Board of Regents on Board of Trustees get all together and they had a press conference. The University of Utah is joining the Pac-10 to make the Pac-10 now the Pac-12 with the inception of Colorado and Utah into the original established Pac-10. I'm torn about this. I mean... I really want to see the Utah remain with the Mountain West because A, Utah has gone undefeated for two years for, in 2005 and in uh, 2008. Um, now that they have Boise State in the mix, Boise State also went undefeated for two years. Uh, you had TCU get pretty dang close to going undefeated, almost got to go to the bowl game, the championship game, except Texas made a field goal. So, I mean, the Mountain West Conference now is a power, power, power team with TCU, Utah, Boise State, uh, and, and BYU. I'll give BYU their just credit. But there it was. Um, yes, I can understand the, the necessity for Utah to jump conferences. However, I feel with what Utah has done to basically be the leader at trying to get the BCS to recognize the Mountain West Conference as a powerful team that is deserving of a BCS bid. To, for them to leave the Mountain West, I think that that might discredit the Mountain West for just a little bit. I mean, granted, the, they're going to have some good games um, this season. Um, but... It's just, for the overall effect, everybody will be like, oh, well, Utah, well, look, at let's talk about the Mountain West. Well, we would, but we can't, because now that Boise State's been seen to come in to fill the vacancy left by Utah. It's not what we need to do right now, but, I mean, I can understand Utah wanting to jump because within the Pac-10, they're established as an automatic first-round bid. Um... Not a first round bid, excuse me. With the Pac-10, they are given a BCS berth bid, automatic bid, whatever. I'm trying to drive, I'm trying to deal with idiots and trying to drive in between raindrops. So I apologize if this is somewhat um, fluttery. Um, fluttery. So I can understand Utah wanting to go, and I can, I am appreciative that the Pac-10 would be willing to allow Utah to come join the Pac-10. Um, however, this also means that the Pac-10, now with 12 teams, are within reason able to have a Pac-10 championship game. So Utah could possibly, uh, after 2011, or even 2011, be in the running to get a, a conference championship, which they've not necessarily been able to do here in the Mountain West, because the Mountain West has only been nine teams. What can you do? Also, with... 
them going to the Pac-10, Utah Athletic Department is going to thrive. Um, the entire university itself is going to thrive because of the financial support that will be brought in not only by the academics, but, well, not academics, I mean the sporting, um, the athletics, excuse me, the athletics. Because with the Mountain West, Utah maybe got $2 million a year uh, based on TV revenue, sponsorship. With the Pac-10, um, it's possible that Utah get part of a TV contract deal. Um, they could also get um, a ton more sponsorship and, and uh, scholarships. More better players will want to come because it's part of an elite conference. So there's good sides, there's bad sides to Utah going. One of the big bad sides that I'm not sure if they've addressed um, is whether or not Utah will be able to play BYU every year. That's one of the biggest rivalries. It's one rivalry I personally love just because of the fact most of my friends either go to Utah or BYU, and it's just a friendly rivalry. Yes, I'm talking to you, Greg. I'm talking to you, Crockett. Shut up, by the way. Um, it, it's fun, unless we're called classless. Max Hall. Um, but in any event, that's my uh, quick little take on... Um, the happenings back in Salt Lake. Uh, from what I'm also told, Utah has yet to have a summer. Instead, they have gone straight from winter to an actual spring, except the spring is in June because there is still snow and it's barely into the 80s. Whereas here in Florida, it's raining like a banshee and it's humidity. That's one thing that the Disney program did not necessarily steal me for was the humidity. I didn't say much. Well, anyway, that's all I've got today, YouTube. Um, five comments. Uh, if you have any interest in discussing sports, uh, uh, follow my Twitter, um, comment below, all that fun stuff. So until next time, later. I pushed the right button. I didn't push the right button.